Hey everybody, um, welcome again back to my channel. Today I have another book. Um, this one is called Extreme Coloring Mandalas. It is also a Carlton book. Carlton Books, they sent this to me from the UK. Um, another book by Beverly Lawson. Um, I don't usually do mandalas, but because I got this book, I, I did one. And I have to say, it was a lot of fun. And <clears throat> I couldn't stop. <laughs> so let's just go through it. This one is definitely extreme. The title fits. It is super, super, super tiny. I mean, whew, uh, I don't even know. But let me get a little bit closer in, maybe, so y'all can see. That's as close as I can get. Well, these mandalas are super, super, super tiny. I mean, you're going to have to have your tiniest, tiniest little fine liners to get in to these. Um, but the introduction here, it basically says, you know, do what you want. It's your book. Um, <clears throat> different cultures have been using these patterns for years. Um, they can be colored in simply as you choose. There are no rules. You choose how you want it to look. So, with that being said, they have, um, they're one-sided, technically, but on the other side they have like a little quote or a saying or something that goes with the, um, the next picture. So, if you don't mind that that gets, you know, inked up or ruined, fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, they're mostly full page spreads here. This is a bigger book. This is a much bigger book. I think it was like 10 by 11 or something like that. Um, it's like an inch bigger this way as a normal coloring book. And it says mandala means wheel or circle. Mandala is one of the oldest symbols in history or f of human civiliza civilization. I can't talk to it. I mean... I You have to have some really good eyes for this one. But I mean, you don't have to. You could just do the whole thing as one color. You don't have to get into all the little fine, teeny tiny creases and everything. It says, remember, there are no rules, no right, no wrong. Completely decide how you want. You can do col um, color blocks or color wherever you want. These are beautiful. Is they're often drawn and viewed from the center outward, increasing the darkness and intensity, or vice versa. These whole page ones are so intimidating. So pretty, though. I, I can appreciate the art of these. I guess you could watercolor these, you know, big, the blocks, like watercolor one section. That would be pretty. It says even though it may be dominated by other shapes, mandala has a concentric concentric structure. You may want to contain your colors um, to the symmetry of the mandala, creating an effect of unity and harmony. This is to relax. Some adults forget how to play. Just relax and color how you feel. Ooh, this one is so itty bitty bitty. This one looks like snowflakes. See, this one's not so intimidating. I could do this. This is the one I did. Oh my goodness. It was really fun. It's shiny. I got a lot of gel pens in there. I hope you can see that. Um, I kind of went with some Mardi Gras colors. You know, I'm a Nola girl, so I kind of did purple, green, and gold. Um, I have, of course, I have not finished. I just, you know, started. But once you start, it's like you can't stop. Um, I only intended to just do a little bit to see, test out the paper or whatnot. And then I just went on and on and on. It was so fun. So I will finish this one for sure. I don't know if I'll finish all of it, but I'll definitely finish this middle one. 
and I used the fine liners and I used gel pens and really all you can see is like maybe a shadow you can't see anything in the back here's another one little fine liner only way you can get through that sucker this is Art Nouveau period Okay. this one might not be so bad this was an Aztec mandala Aztec okay whatever I can't talk y'all know that Aztec were used as both calendars and spiritual expressions. You can map out the colors of your year using the bright yellows, reds, blues, interspaced with blocks of black. So that's very cool. By coloring, you are making decisions about color choices and concentrating on hand-eye coordination. This focus can help stimulate brain areas related to motor skills, creativity, and five senses. The bigger ones like this is the ones that I think I could handle. Like I could do this one at a time I could do this this one would be really pretty if you started a rainbow color effect going around that would be really nice these are beautiful it says choose your colors and patterns instinctively be strict and give yourself just seconds to select a pen and a space to color what if anything does the result reveal about your state of mind hmm that's interesting For a change, try using colors you believe you don't like. Use together. They might provide a clarity of thought. You might even use them in a new light. Whew, look at this one. Again, maybe watercolor. I like the big ones. The mandala is one of the most powerful American Indian symbols, often decorated with furs and feathers. It can be found on both the Plains Indian dance shields and their medicine wheels. This is so pretty. If you love mandalas, this is the book for you because this is extreme mandalas here. You will be tested on all levels in this book. This one says, remember that your mandala is a means of capturing your attention. Create interesting patterns and devices such as sudden explosions of striking accent colors. Fluorescent pinks, purples, oranges, that will really pop. That would be good on this one. Let your palette create your mood. Um, mandala's influence in Europe is demonstrated by the beautiful stained glass rose window of the great cathedral, such as... Um, <coughs> Charters Cathedral or Notre Dame in Paris. Beautiful. Create your own rose window mandala. Think of the outline for the shapes within your mandala as the lead. Then imagine the light illuminating the amber, lime, green, navy, blue, and violet colors. There's no way I'm doing some of these little intricate ones, but I'll definitely do some more of these wow oh this one's cool all these little flowers in this one the paper is really nice it's heavier than copy paper for sure it's um it's a good weight this is very quality real quality book this is don't forget to color monochrome mandala black and white yin and yang black and blue things like that oh this one's different oh this one's beautiful ideal tool for relaxation or meditation the circle directs your focus inward and intricate geometric patterns draw your concentrations use your colors to help lead your gaze along perpetual routes this is the one I almost started but then I was like no way highly symbolic icon of Celtic artwork mandalas are the works of sacred art in Buddhism 
Wow. And this is the end of the book. And again, we have the really beautifully colored um, co inside cover. And they also have Extreme Color and Amazing World. Extreme going to dot to dot. Can you imagine doing the extreme dot to dot? I kind of think that would be fun. Again, Carlton Books. Um, I will post a link of where you can purchase these. Um, great book. People love mandala, so this would be a, a challenge for you. And I think if you like mandalas, this is a really good book for you to try out. And it wasn't that expensive either, so um, I will post a link. And if you like, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.